Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the What's Sold Sunday on a Monday. We're going to try to make it right before the deadline. It might be barely Tuesday. It's late. Y'all, my allergies are killing me. Are y'all feeling it? And we had a lot of shipping to do today. We had, what, 28 packages just between Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. Woo! There, there was a lot. We sold a lot of things this week. It was moving. It was. It's because of our Facebook group. Sold a lot of things on a lot of platforms, too. I know. Five platforms. We've been cross-posting. Whoa. We've always cross posted, but we've been making a concerted effort. Yeah. Oh my God, my allergies are so <laughs> bad. We have ragweed in Texas, yes. if you're wondering. Lots and lots of ragweed. It's everywhere. See my bad. eyes? Yeah. Watering? Yep. Yep. It's time for. Mojo's here. Mojo is here. He's just off camera. Welcome Come on the... in, Mojo. Welcome all the new people that are here. Thank you so much Hi. for hanging out with us. He's your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he do that? I don't know. Okay, so, we're uh, full-time resellers on mo mo mainly eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Yeah. But uh, we added we, Depop. We did. And Facebook. We sold one thing on each. They yes. count? They do count, and you're going to hear about them shortly. But Go we're ahead. Gonna, we're going to talk about Poshmark first. Okay. And the first sale of the week was this pair of Sam Edelman uh, ankle boots that sold for 10 bucks. We had those a long time. We sure did. Bye. Long time. Get them out of here. Somebody sent you a ten dollar offer and you were like, "I'm taking it." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> we had. I think we got them from the bins back in the day. Maybe. Oh, 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 okay. All right. He's getting comfortable down here. Then we sold a three item bundle. Uh, this person came in and paid fifty bucks for these three things. It was a uh, an Athleta asymmetric gray tunic top. I think nineteen bucks. What he had it listed. Um, a pair of democracy jeans and a cat in the hat cycling jersey. So 50 bucks for all three things. That's okay. Yeah. We kind of look at bundles. We take one of the items that we know is a steady seller. So the democracy jeans, we normally get 30 bucks. So we're like, okay, are the other two things worth 10 each? And we're like, well, the athletic shirt was kind of, and it was a dollar day thing. And then the cycling jersey we, we weren't sure about. So we're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? We're still getting the 30 for the democracy. That's how we kind of, I don't know, we're not like rationalizing, but making a smart business choice. Correct. That's how I feel. All right. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Eh, I don't think so. We're still moving stuff out of here. So let's see. We've got this pair of page ankle jeans, like a dark olive green kind of, sold for 30 bucks. Not bad. Right. Yeah, that's great. Love it. We've been selling tons of pants because we listed tons we of listed pants. listed tons of pants. Okay, we have a, a gold trumpeter from Hart Schaffner Marks sport coat and a 42 regular. This one sold for 30 bucks. Again, worth more. Low. It is, but again, we were just. I don't know if you were busy and I was just in a taken offers kind of mood, but it's probably what happened. I need to plug this in. Look what, what's happening. I am plugged in. Oh no, you're having an issue. Oh, I'm not plugged in. We're having an oh, issue. Oh no. Tech support! I became, I, it got unplugged. Oh, oh no, Mojo's. There we What'd go. What'd you do? There we go. Okay, crisis averted. Why does he do that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at his face! So he doesn't cute. like the light, I don't think. No. Uh, this is a pair of American Eagle black button uh, exposed button fly jeans mm -hmm. nice forty dollars for some american eagle jeans these were a special kind of what were they called high waisted curvy yeah ne uh -huh. yep so certain what do you even call it models mm -hmm. of them do better okay. and the curvy models that are high waisted uh do great okay this guy sold super quick uh, this Orvis blue turtleneck is also sold for forty dollars. All right. I believe that sold overnight. I'm pretty sure it did. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Not all Orvis sells like that, but the classic kind of knit style pieces do yeah. pretty well for this us. This thing was really thick and heavy. So indigo cotton. That's what it was. Oh, Canadian people. Here's my Tim Hortons. Hey. Uh, this is a pair of mother jeans that sold for twenty-eight bucks. Tag was kind of thrashed. 
It's our new favorite word. Thanks, Facebook group, for telling us a new word. Yeah. If you haven't joined, you really should. We are a power group over on Facebook in the Hustle Couple (laughs) Hustle Couple Resellers Work Group. There you go. That's what it's called on Facebook, and it's free. And we just list together and we talk about reselling stuff. Everybody in the group has been having increased sales. I swear. Yeah, it helps us helps us stay productive. That's for sure. Come on over. Come on. The link will be with it. Down there. Yeah, it's down. It's in the uh, in the description. Don't be shy. I'm the shyest, and we're there. This is true. Okay, this is a she fit uh, sports bra in five lux. Super huge size, um, sold, I think, also overnight, $52. Yep. Yeah. I love selling odd sizes of anything, but particularly bras. And I've said it on here before, but we have a lot of new people. It's because you have to go online to order a special size anyway, so you might as well order it for less money if you can find a really good deal. Right. And they do. They sell every time they sell overnight. Pretty so you much, can find yeah. a really high quality either a really, really small bra or a really, really large bra in, in comparison to society's norms, it's great. Pick it up. Pick it and up. And I, I hear a lot of resellers saying the opposite. Oh, it's not a normal size. Don't get it. I'm not on that train. Well, I guess because I'm not a normal size. <laughs> Maybe so I shop why. online for my clothes. Good call. Good call. Let's see. You pick these up every time? Every you time. you see them? Spanx? Mo- are these are the Moto leggings? Those or are the mesh inserts. Yeah, the Moto mesh inserts. Okay, forty-four bucks for these. Nice. I'm I'm starting to pick up Spanx more than Lululemon. Yeah. Tides have changed. <laughs> this was a very rare, hard to find, vintage Mary Meyer plush frog. When I put that, it's because I couldn't find a comp. Yes, new with tags, twenty-one bucks. I mean, hard to find. It was hard to find. It was. It was, absolutely. You know, plush sells on Poshmark, and this is something... It's starting to, yeah. That is very strange to me, because we started on Poshmark only selling clothing. Mm-hmm. And now plush started selling. Think about it. Take a chance. List it over there. We weren't plush people either, and now yeah. here we are, just living with the plush. Mm-hmm. Thousands of them. This thing sold very quickly as well, within a day or two. Uh, Columbia PFG... But it has the OU logo embroidered on it. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what made it sell. Not the fact that it was a Columbia PFG shirt. Though, PFG does do okay for us if you price it right. Yeah. I mean, if you can find it really, really cheap, you know, you'll know, you get, like I said, about 20, 22 bucks out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was it for Poshmark. That's great. I think we had 12 sales. Something like that, yeah. I did the metric, so. All right. Uh, Moving on to Mercari. The Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things lingerie, $23. That sold, uh, not overnight, like in a week, but we had offers steady for a week on Mm -hmm. this, and I was not, uh, I mean, 23, I didn't realize this, but Mercari had kept, how do you say? Smart pricing. Smart pricing. They were using that smart pricing, so it went down to 23, so I was like, I better sell it now. Yeah. But they paid almost five bucks for shipping, so. The uh, sexy little things line from Victoria's Secret, if you can find it new with tags. It's like their upper echelon of lingerie. It's oh, good. Good to know. Okay. Affliction yellow t-shirt. You guys remember the Affliction shirts, right? They still sell. A lot. This one went for 19 plus 6 bucks for shipping. Every time we get Affliction, it sells. Mm-hmm. And we don't pay up for it. Mm-hmm. We we'll play like a dollar for it. Yeah. And it'll sell. <laughs> Not pay up. <clears throat> the Nike yellow center swoosh hoodie sold for thirty bucks plus eight bucks for shipping. I think that's actually pretty good. It, I'm yeah. surprised because it yeah. wasn't the mini swoosh, which right. is trending. And that one's like worth over a hundred bucks, though, right? Yeah, I should probably set up. I'm like sinking in the frame. Moo. Moo moo. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Well, now I have, I have my a hot chocolate. Terrible tendency to slouch, slouch back. Uh, the Hug Fun 22 inch pink octopus, $10. We wanted this out of our house. It was huge. Yeah. And it looked, we thought it was a jelly cat cause it looks like a jelly cat. And, and so not. we took a risk. We thought it was a jelly cat. It's not a jelly cat. So then we were like $10. Bye. Get it gone. Did you know we didn't lose money on a single item this week? I know that sounds crazy. And we're like, we're resellers telling you how we resell and we didn't lose money. 
But it's hard to do. Sometimes you're just trying to get rid of something that was a bad buy and you end up eating a couple of bucks. Yep. We did not this week and we sold 65 things. That's a lot. I know. He's fine. <laughs> 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 okay, how many more? A couple more on Mercari. Uh, pair of. We just we're starting Mercari. Yeah, pair. Of... <laughs> no, we've already done like three. Oh, I thought we were just starting Mercari. Ah, oh, man, pay attention. I can't cat. <laughs> uh, this is a pair of Levi's wedgie skinny jeans in a size twenty six. They went for twenty seven dollars plus eight for shipping. Those are good. Mm-hmm. I like They're like selling. acid washed. Yeah, I like selling those wedgie jeans. Yeah. I don't like to wear a wedgie jean, but I like to sell them. They're popular. Who wants a wedgie? I anyway, okay, keep going. <laughs> $24 plus six for shipping for this pair of uh, Iviva for Lululemon, or by Lululemon, girls' leggings. They no longer make the girls' line oh, anymore, okay. so if you can find these, there are people still dedicated to getting this for their kids. So it will sell, and the the price hasn't deflated at all. Like, cool. what do we sell these for? 24? Twenty four. That's normal. Yeah. All right, and that is it for Mercari. You guys, we had a sale on Depop. Branching out, this sold really quick, and we we sold this dress like eight thousand times. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, intimately free people. The po what trapeze polka dot. Slip it's dress? The, it's the ditzy dress? Did, maybe. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's the ditzy dress. 40 bucks! And it's like yeah. nothing. It weighs nothing. Yeah. Uh, if you can get the right name, I think this one is the ditzy. There's a couple of different um, patterns that look very similar and they have names. If you can get the name of it, you can ask more money for it because people know the one they like and they want it in different colors. How can you find the name? Well, that one I Google imaged it and it was it popped up immediately. There you go. But sometimes yeah, that works. Sometimes that works. Yeah. Okay, and we are moving on to eBay. Um, I did. I think I did a really good job of leaving out all the junk this time. Okay. And I'm also going to leave out all uh, all the snacks and stuff like that. <laughs> the gum and the M and M's and stuff like that. Hi, um, we're the hustle. Just couple. for sake of time. We sell snacks. We sell snacks. Come get your snacks at our store. Um, I'm having a snack right now. Right? First sale on eBay was uh, a nice one. $120 plus $13 more for shipping for a Yves Saint Laurent double-breasted two-piece suit. Wow, double-breasted. Yes. Tan, it's... also. Thanks, Obama. Right? No, I really mean <laughs> that. He wore a tan suit, and now all of a sudden, <laughs> it's allowed. It's awesome. Yeah, man. Love it. A uh, pair of Sam Edelman flats. These are the Felicia 2s. 25 bucks plus 9 for shipping. That's about normal. Mm -hmm. We so, didn't need 9 for shipping on those. They were really light. Yeah. I went in like a poly mailer. Those Sam Edelman ballet flats still sell. They have a following. They do. They're very comfortable, actually. Mm -hmm. But don't pay up. So they only go for about 25 That's... You know, as soon as you do reselling long enough, you start to realize what you can and cannot pay up for. Mm -hmm. and you get better. That's what, that's what experience gets you in this game. You can't, you can't fake it, right? Yeah. You just, you can watch videos like ours. Like we watch videos too, and you can learn from other people. But until you like hit, hit that, oh, I lost two bucks on these. <laughs> <laughs> you don't actually learn it. I don't think. Yeah, and it's funny because we started listing stuff from the death pile. Uh, from way, way back, and we were like, oh my god, we paid what for this? It, it's bad. It was really bad. Um, it, shows how, <laughs> it shows how much we learned. I yeah. think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got 25 bucks for this pair of Rag and Bone cigarette jeans in a size 28, uh, plus five for shipping, so 30 bucks. Again, basic Rag and Bone, 25 all day long. Yeah. They do sell. People say on eBay they don't, I mean on YouTube they don't sell. They do. People are overpricing them. It's not the Rag and Bone of 2016. Which that one? was a good time yeah. for Rag and Bone. <laughs> but if they have a cool pattern or if it's a collab, you can kind of price a little higher. I think we sold some a couple of weeks ago for 40 or 45 But if it's just a regular pair of jeans, 25 is... What you can expect from yeah. them. Yeah. Okay, this is awesome. Napoleon Dynamite, vote for Pedro, coffee mug, 20 bucks plus 9 for shipping. 
and it costs a lot to ship that mug. What, yeah, what it, happened? Well, it was a. It wasn't a camping cup like you thought. It was like legit beefy. Oh, uh, I got it confused with that magnolia one mm-hmm. we have. Oh, yep. okay, okay. It was heavy and large. It was like a twenty ounce or two. So. So I should have probably charged more. This thing is yes. awesome. Yes, yes, yes. You found this right. Oh, I found it. Oh, she found it. Like okay, a first beeline. of all, you guys don't un- you you don't know this woman's love for Ace Ventura. It's okay. Every single line <laughs> of Ace One, not the second one. Yeah. Uh, so she co- comes it, running it, yeah. with a sealed <laughs> PC CD ROM uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective game from, I don't know, this must have come out the year the movie came out or a year after. I mean, it was old. I was not taking less than $100 for this, $99.99. And it sold. 100 bucks. I declined offer after offer. <laughs> I was like, Ace is worth 100 <laughs> We had no idea. I think there was maybe was there actually a comp? Uh, there was, was but it was like sold at thirty four ninety nine. I was like, nope, that's impossible because it was wasn't sealed. sealed that's right. right. Very very rare. It should be in a museum. It should it should be. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. The oh look at this guy. The Rockies, uh, Cooperstown Bear. Inaugural inaugural year for the Rockies. Uh, was it 93? Um, 15 bucks plus oh, 9 for shipping. Oh, you said in the movie. 93. Oh, man. Fine. We're working on a movie, and part of it takes place in 1993. So I've been... Here's the thing. I have been buying 1993 stuff off eBay. I bought a dish towel off Mercari that had a calendar on it for 1993. When I say you can sell anything on the internet, you can sell anything. How many of you would have gone to Goodwill and picked up a dang dish towel calendar from 1993? <laughs> Well, somebody did, and I paid twenty dollars for it. <laughs> there you go, because we need it. I needed it. It was nineteen ninety three. Right. Anyway, right. so that's what I'm saying. There are people out there that need your stuff. That's right. Somebody oh. in New Zealand needed this Tommy Bahama shirt. Yeah, and it was worth more, but we were like, "Oh, it's New Zealand. They yeah. need it." Twenty five bucks plus five for shipping, and this uh, it's going to not. It's not going through eBay's. Um, I don't think. It's going through some Portland or Seattle address, but it had New Zealand stuff all over it. So some other forwarder, I guess. Like a drop shipper? No, like a freight forwarder. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if they can do that. I, I guess they can do that. <laughs> okay, more democracy jeans. Yeah. Girlfriend, girlfriend jeans. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Size 12. Like you used to always say, 25 bucks plus five more for shipping. I normally can get 30 for a democracy jeans. Oh, these are distressed. They're distressed. And they didn't have the ab. So here's the thing with democracy. You want the ab solution. It got a booty lift. Oh, That's okay. what it says. I mean, I don't notice a difference, but people love the, the idea that you're getting a booty lift. <laughs> so it has an elastic inside the waistband. Okay. Not and, an and it says something about it on the tag, right? It says absolution. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you found these at the bins. This was a WWE trading card. Uh, page mm-hmm. trading card. This one sold for five twenty-five. We sold both of them. We found two of the bins and they both sold. <laughs> Ten free dollars, basically. Free money. I'll yeah. take free money all day, every day. It takes two seconds to list. Yeah. Yes, I'm there. Uh, did this come out of a subscription box? Color pop. Yep. yep. Ultra glossy lip champagne mommy. <laughs> Six bucks. You're welcome. That was for you. Woo! It's for you. Six bucks, but Yeah. Right? It was a conversion. Yeah. And if you're new here, I keep saying that, but I never know who knows what we know. <laughs> uh, sometimes if you're having some stuff like that in your closet that's free to you or you're just sitting around your house is great. Even if you're not making a ton of money, I think we made two dollars. But I converted, and then we sold stuff for the rest of the day, probably. Mm-hmm. This is true. Okay. Okay. Uh, like this super awesome Chico's faux fur vest. Yes. Twenty bucks plus nine for shipping. Yeah. This thing sold really fast. It did. We probably <laughs> underpriced. No, I think we took an offer. I think we were like, eh. 
Yeah, that probably. It was huge. It was. It was taking up a lot of space, and it was Chico's, and I'm scared of them, so I was like, just <laughs> sell it. I'm scared of getting a Vero or like a cease and desist. I know, Chico's right. will come after you, so I'm like, just, mm -hmm. just get it on out. Oh. Get it on out. <laughs> uh, this super cool Veronica beard top sold for 35 bucks plus five for shipping. That's an, I, that's an example of when you know when to hold your ground because I paid a couple bucks for this shirt, but it was super cool. It was a nautical themed, yeah, it was like, linen. It had a lot going for it. And people kept offering me $12. I'm just like, no, I, I know that this is worth more. And so it sold at full price. Yep. He's fine. Okay. Your, um, your soft spot brand, Bowden. I love Bowden. $29. This is a Vivienne dress, gold and white floral shift dress with pockets! Exclamation mark. A shift dress? Shift dress. That's what it says. That's wrong. It's wrong. Uh oh. What should it be? That's a sheath dress. Sheath dress. Sheath dresses have a waist. See, I just copied someone's description. Mm. It's fine. We know what happens when I start saying those words. <laughs> a sheath dress has a defined waist band, like a seam right there. And a shift <laughs> dress is shaped like a rectangle. There you go. You heard it here first. <laughs> okay. Uh, Epson Workforce DS30 portable document scanner. This was new open box, 46 bucks plus 13 more for shipping. Oh, that's good. And it sold really fast, like within two or three days. Electronics, every time you listen, they sell. Mm -hmm. Hey, I felt that. Do the comments below. Tell Dan to list the electronics. I don't know. It's just, it's, yeah. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for the Nintendo DS went for $27, plus free shipping. But this was like this big. Yeah. Tiny. It's great. Yep. Uh, what is this? Is there nail polish remover pads? Nail polish remover pads. From $15. Yep. 15 pads for a dollar a pad. Dang. <clears throat> They're good because you can travel with them. Oh. Are they discontinued or something too? Yes. Ah, They're okay. They're from Sephora. They mm. don't make them. Okay, we got another Jelly Cat. This one sold for 30 bucks. Look at this cute little ballerina bunny. She was very well loved. Yeah, didn't have I, a tag anymore. I thought someone would like her, so yep. I just put that in the description. I cleaned her up a little bit, and I was like, she is very well loved. And someone bought her at full price. Mm -hmm. Love it. Jelly Cat is like the safest plush brand if you're going to pick up plush. You find it, grab it, it will sell. You gotta praise it right, but yes, I agree. True. Uh, this is a Guess Men's button down plaid shirt, 15 bucks plus five for shipping. We were listing this, I think live. We were listing this, and I'm like, who's gonna buy this shirt? <laughs> no one's gonna buy the shirt. Someone bought the shirt. Somebody bought it. You're like, this is ugly, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, Nobody's gonna want this. I was like, what would someone search for to get this shirt? I was all angsty about it. <laughs> Somebody did. Somebody did. You can sell anything these Somebody days. Somebody also bought a OrthoCare knee brace. And they sent us a message. They're like, send it to me quick. I'm having surgery. So I would have never looked twice at this. Never in six million years <laughs> would I have even touched this thing. But this is where kind of getting out of your <coughs> comfort zone can be helpful. Like Dan looked at this. And this is like the second like brace medical thingy and he buys those tens units like the like zap you i don't know he buys medical stuff and i'm like i have no reason selling that and he's like why not <laughs> and it sells yeah this was worth uh 50 dollars plus 13 more for shipping because i mean brand new this thing runs you i mean they're a couple of hundred bucks yeah and we yeah. sold another one remember that tall one we, we couldn't figure out the size of it that's this one. Oh, this this one yeah we sold something else similar mm -hmm. that's great though so get out of the comfort zone figure yep. it out uh, it's, let's see. Free People Top, blue chambray with a crochet back, seventeen fifty. Also a super, super fast sale. Two hours or something. Yeah. Everyone on the live wanted to buy it, but they didn't get to because somebody bought it first. 
Sorry. Uh, I think I took an offer on this, but I think I only had a price of nineteen ninety five or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, I think so. Free people still sells for us, but we price it low because that's. Yeah. Speaking of quick sales. Oh, this one's good. Whew. Uh, this is a stealth uh, game your core core training board. Uh, it basically looks like a giant neon green rectangle with foam on top and a place to put your phone. He tried it. I tried it and oh man. <laughs> it was like face plank. I, I have no core. Um, you basically like you plank on it and you put your phone and you like fly, virtually fly a hang glider and work on your core with it. <laughs> um, like... Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> But the comps were outrageous. I got this thing at half price, uh, 50% off day. Uh, I think I paid $4.50 for it. And I listed it at 150 bucks plus 50 bucks for shipping because it's massive. And that's what the comps, like, believe it or not, the comps yeah. supported that. Uh, shipping on most of the sold comps was actually higher. It was like 60 to 80 bucks that people were charging for shipping. So I thought I was like cutting somebody a deal. Um, and the weird thing is, right after, he's good, right after I listed this thing, you know, and did the research on it, I, of course, started getting ads for it on my Facebook feed. And it's on sale from the manufacturer for $99. But this one still sold. It was, I had it listed for $150, and it sold over the weekend during our flash sale for $127.46. Plus fifty bucks for shipping. We we don't know why. So, our only advice is look at the comps on eBay and go based on that. Because yeah. sometimes I look at Amazon comps and I'm like, why would someone get on eBay when they get on Amazon for this? Because the eBay comps will be higher. Well, because they're on eBay, maybe they just buy it because they're on eBay. Maybe, but like I said, it, it, it sold super quick. I had to custom build a box for it. It was fun. Um, okay. UPS ground. We actually made a little bit of money on shipping, so. Thumbs up all the way around for this thing. Again, something I would have never looked twice at. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that thing's good. <laughs> I'm like, no, some kind of nerd video situation. And it was huge. It didn't even huge. fit in the cart, so I would have to carry it. I don't know. No. Yeah, it was like 28 inches by 24 inches. It was insane. I would have never gotten that thing. <laughs> uh, you would have gotten this, though. You did I get did. this. Uh, Nirvana t-shirt. Um, with the In Utero album cover art on the front. But it was more than that. Yeah, it was like extra. It was like art of art. Mm -hmm. It was cool. Super cool. 17 bucks plus five for shipping. This wasn't a vintage or anything. It was just really beautiful Nirvana shirt. And they're trending right now, so the art was nice. That's why I got Nice. Yeah. This was nice, too. This (laughs) jet. Aurora Jackalope plush. He bought uh, it, and I'm like, "Why are you buying this?" This was early. He's like, "Someone needs this." This was early on in the in the plush adventures. <laughs> We're Thir- still 13, early on. Thirteen dollars, but it was in the drawer. That was like before we got any hammocks. We have all the hammocks. Scary. We have eight. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Oh yeah. Mm. That's a lot. Yep. Let's keep going there. Okay. Talk about it. Mm-mm. A pair of Kenneth Cole New York pants. Gray pants, slim, straight pants, 12 bucks. Those are yours. They were mine. If it's our stuff, we're just like, bye. Yeah, I don't care. You can, I'll pay you $3 for those. Okay, here you go. Yep. Uh, Coca-Cola Cool Break Polar Bear Cookie Jar from 1997. In super awesome condition, sold for 20 bucks. You found this in the bins. I did. I had no idea until I did the ticket. How did it not get broken? I have no idea. It had a lid and everything. Uh Uh-huh. And it was like light, delicate. Like, I don't... You saved it from the bins. I did. I saved it from the bins and I sent it to whoever bought it. I don't know. And we wiped out on the way out of the bins. Oh, yeah. Our car... (laughs) Our car just like totally wiped out on this ramp. Oh, man. Everything went flying, including that. It was... I don't know how it survived. It's a miracle. Uh Uh-huh. Man, that ramp was no good. (laughs) You guys in Dallas that have been, you know, you know the ramp. Wipe out. All right. Uh, it has a bump. Mm-hmm, if you're not, <laughs> not paying attention. Okay, we got 
Uh, $28 for a pair of Liverpool jeans. These were Lucy boot cuts. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I love selling those jeans. They sell them at Stitch Fix. They're not a Stitch Fix exclusive. Okay. Uh, but the people that I used to Stitch Fix were, I don't know what you say. I used that, to work that there. That works. And they would always request the Liverpool jeans. So I know they're kind of like democracy. They have a certain kind of fit. And there are people that really like them and they will buy them in different colorways. So I picked them up. Awesome. Uh, somebody's getting ready for Halloween and bought this Cheshire Cat uh, pumpkin flag so from the cute. 2000s or so you claimed. Well, it looked like something my mom would have made, you know. 16 bucks plus nine for shipping. Uh, and I did have to ship this in a uh, medium tube, the triangle box that you can get from from the postal service. We have, we never used one before and we have a whole box of them. Mm -hmm. Order your postal supplies. I still haven't done it. Everybody. Slacking. As soon as this video is over, go order your postal supplies. They're going to run out. Q4, they're going to run out. I'm telling you. They're, they're not, um, they're going to run out for me. Tell him to order them. I'm going to order them for you. Okay. I think I got this at the bins too. You did. Right. This Maga Shoney women's blazer. 15 bucks plus nine more for shipping. Yeah. Eh. Whatever. You were like, I'm going to try it. I was okay. like, it feels nice. <laughs> Someone wants it. You know it's nice. <laughs> That's right. Uh, awesome. Pair of Jinko jeans. Size 38, 34. I don't think these are like the old school, old school ones. Were these they? were old school style. Ah. So they were like this wide and not like, oh wait, you can't see this. Not like. This wide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, these sold for $39 plus nine for shipping. Do we have them listed at 100? I did. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. see, this is the thing. The guy came and offered us 39, and then we counted offered something, and then he came back with 39. And anytime that happens, I think this has happened twice this week. Mm -hmm. The person knows what it's worth more than I do. So I went searching for these exact jeans, and if you have the old school jinkos, like the really wide ones with the embroidery, they are worth $100. Yeah, all day long. These were not those. He was right. They were worth about 40 bucks. So I sold them to him. There you go. Fair is fair. Fair right. is fair. I didn't get mad. Can't get mad. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This pair of shorts sold overnight as well. Uh, 511 Tactical is a very popular brand apparently. Uh, but, you know, run of the mill, like 20 bucks plus five for shipping. Can I tell my story? Uh huh. Go ahead. There, when we were listing these live, uh, there were about 6 million and 300 comps uh, that were active. So like tons. And then I went to Solds, there was two. And I was like, oh no, the sell through rate is horrible. So I copied the sell similar from the listing that did sell for more. So I knew that they had better details or something made theirs, their sell than the other ones didn't sell. Makes sense, okay. And I priced it just below what the other comps were and it sold overnight. Mm, good strategy. So just because it has a terrible sell through rate doesn't <laughs> necessarily mean it's unsellable. Okay. You just gotta kind of strategize it a little bit. Good advice. Okay. Okay. This thing. This thing. This is a Labbit. I was learned. Thank you, Shawana. She really um, did. This is from Kid Robot and Frank Kozik. It's a plush cow print rabbit with a mustache. 34 bucks plus nine for shipping. Weird plush sells. Sure does. And Kid Robot, Kid Robot is having a moment. Right. We got, because we got one more to start next week's video, which you're going to want to come back for, because it's probably the most unique plush we've ever sold. True. I'm so kind of sad it's gone. I know. Hmm. <laughs> Kid Robot is <laughs> like a street kind of plush. It's kind of cool and funky, like a Funko Pop. That's what you said. It's yeah, like kind of. a Funko Pop of plush. Like... It's a little bit artsy, mm -hmm. and they make like weird, like that was a cow pig with a mustache. Rabbit. Rabbit. Some of them are pigs, right? Maybe. We don't know. I have no idea. They're a little artistic. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Jelly cat. Got Again. another jelly cat. Uh, this time the mint green small rabbit. So. They make the rabbits in three different sizes, I think. The small one is eight inches. It's called the, a bashful bunny. The mediums are like, what's, mm, 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then there's a large one. You can find this guy, the big one in pistachio. Oh, man. That's worth some money. So this guy had his tag still, and he went for 46 <laughs> 71. He was this big. I found him in a junk bag. Mm -hmm. It like, wasn't even real. Going international. You freaked out when you saw. You were like, buyer paid what? Oh my God. A lot. Somebody paid a lot of money to I ship this thing. $85. Not to ship. I think $85 total. So they paid as much in shipping as they did to buy it. Dang. It's probably <clears> it's going to the UK, right? Because Jellycat's got a huge following in the UK. It's, it's from UK the UK. Britain, yeah. yeah. I don't know where it's going, actually. I forgot. We'll have to check. Okay, we got a Ralph Marlin, mm, no idea, Tonka truck print tie. So cute. That's the only reason we got it. We have no idea the brand, yeah. but it's Tonka trucks. Somebody had to buy it. Somebody wanted this in 1050. There you go. That's cute. Yep. And ties are super lightweight. Cost almost nothing to ship, so. Uh, untuck it, blue short sleeve shirt in an extra, extra large, 2450. Sold very quickly. Yes, Untuck It is still doing okay. Still? Even though somebody said it was dying, right? Yeah, a couple people have said it's dead. Mm -hmm. Still doing okay. Okay. Chris. Maybe it's because of the extra, extra large. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. That was junk, right? Yeah. Uh, this Star Wars R two D two USB car charger, fifteen bucks and nine more for shipping. This is from uh, Think Geek. We love selling Think Geek mm -hmm. things. Uh, and this is the second car charger thing we've sold like this. We had the um, Back to the Future one. Yeah, Mr. Fusion. Yeah, and then we had this one. That, and one, that one went for like 80 bucks. This one could have gone for more, but it wasn't in great shape. Yeah. And there was a lot of them new in box still, so. What are you going to do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're at the end of the line. Uh, we do have one Facebook sale, right? We do. Yeah, it was a John Deere uh, beanie. Sold overnight. Sold overnight on Facebooks. Sweet. John Deere stuff sells. I don't know. I don't know about Facebook. Our other stuff's not doing hot. Yeah, John Deere's got like a under, not an underground. It's got a, it's got a following for sure. Yeah. It's got a fan. Okay. Fan base. So we sold one thing on Facebook ever in our lives. Yes. How do we do? How do okay. we do for the week? Okay. For this week, we sold 65 items, which was five up from last week. So mm -hmm. that's great. Total sales, $2,017.09. Yes! Broke into the 2000 Where we want to be. That is Well, part I mean, we way. want to be <laughs> higher, but okay, got, right. it's the right trajectory. We're going, going back up. He decided he wanted to be on Dan. We're and going up. Me. We're going up, buddy. <laughs> to the moon. I was going to do his hand. Okay. Uh, our total profit, this is the important number that you guys come to see. Yeah. So again, $2,017 was in sales. Oh my God, he has hair on my mouth. <laughs> our total profit was $1,225.25. Okay. That's when all said and done, everything is out of that. Our cost of goods, our fees that we pay the platforms, all of that stuff. So $1,200 yeah. for the week. That's pretty good. And... Our average sales price was thirty one oh three, which isn't perfect, but it's okay. And it's a lot better than it was last week. Last week was twenty three. Yeah, last week we sold a bunch of little things, so. We also listed eighty nine items this week, and last week we only listed forty three. Okay, so that helps. It, yeah. it definitely every time you hear us say, "Oh, that sold overnight," it helps that we're listing more. So I encourage you to keep keep listing. We sold, uh, I was gonna tell you the the top selling calendar was clothing, but that's all we listed this week. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so there's that. And jean, women's jeans were our top selling subcategory. Men's casual button downs was next. Men's tops, women's tops, and men's active wear tops. Tops and jeans, those were what's selling for us. And we sold 45 items on eBay, one on Depop, one on Facebook, six on Mercari, and 12 on Poshmark. Look at that. This is what we get from Vendu. I print, the, print out these graphics, if you can see them. I don't know, it's kind of blown out, but. There you go. That's it's pretty funny. nice to see this. And you can see that we had a dip here, like one of the days, and we had a rare, you know, you could kind of tell how your week went. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty cool. I agree with that, for sure. So if you want to check out Vendu, we have a link down below. We love it. 
this has changed our life. No matter what happens, we sit down and do our numbers every week. Yeah. And I don't think we would do that without Vendu. I don't think so. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Uh, if you learned anything, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us out. Consider leave subscribing. A leave a comment. Introduce yourself below. We have the best YouTube family. We really do. We love you guys And so we much. respond to each and every single comment. I, I try to. He does. Sometimes it's daunting because we get a lot of action on the comments. And come join the Facebook group. If you want to level up your listing, come join us. Yeah. We, we leveled up ourselves. We did. We're trying to get to 115 listings a week, which is 15 you know, to 20 a day. Yeah. That's our goal. And we're almost there. We, got to, we did 89 this week. We would have never done that without our group. That's absolutely true. Come join us over there on Facebook and hang out when we list live in the evenings. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.